Well, this is another fine mess we seem to have got ourselves into. Once upon a time, not so long ago, there was a little girl and her name was Emily. And she had a shop. There it is. When I was a kiddiewink about this high, my favourite programme of all time was a programme called Bagpuss, which was created by a chap called Oliver Postgate. I've got a picture of him here. Whose production company, Small Films, produced many classic television programmes, including, including Ivor the Engine, The Clangers, Bagpuss, Pogleswood, etc, etc. He was a genius. Now quite by chance, we have a shop that's very similar to Emily's shop called the Petit Pan Padu. Now recently, somebody donated a whole batch of cine film to the shop and I couldn't bring myself to throw it away. But I also knew that it had no kind of resale value and, and they had no real interest to anyone. Especially as it's very difficult to find eight millimeter and super eight millimeter projectors to be able to play back these films. However, I happen to have a super eight millimeter projector. So I took it upon myself to kind of follow in Bag Puss's shoes and restore the cine film into a digital format and kind of make an edit, put it all together and make a little sequence. Now, most of the film that you're going to see was filmed in the early 70s in and around France. I think there's a couple of pieces of footage that may have been filmed in the Swiss Alps. What with everything that's going on in the world at the moment, which, let's be honest, is quite difficult to, to look at. In fact, it's quite difficult even to think about. I thought this would just give us the opportunity to look at some of the beauty in life for two minutes. Now, I'm not a professional film transferer and I'm not a professional filmmaker. So you're going to have to kind of make do with the uh, the dodgy results that I got using my old fashioned film projector. But I think even the segments that have been pulled out of focus because of faults that I have in the projector has kind of given the film its own beauty, its own piece of magic. It's not perfect, but it's very watchable. I hope you enjoy it. 